Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a bit different. Today I'm going to be going over mistakes that you can make as a collector and how to avoid them. Let's start off with... Just because someone says it's good doesn't mean it is. I made that mistake with Planet X Vulcan. I was always a big fan of the War for Cybertron video games. Fall of Cybertron was my jam. And Grimlock in that game was my favorite character ever. And when I saw the Planet X when I wanted it so bad, I watched the Jobby review. And it painted it in my eyes as being the holy figure of Transformers for me. And I'm like, I need that. I get it. And it's, it's solid. It's an awesome figure at first. Four months later, he falls off the shell and the tail breaks off like glass. That was my first bad push with third party that happened to me. And that was why it was tricky to trust third party ever again for me. Moving on. Don't let nostalgia take your money. For an example of this, it wasn't that expensive. But it can be. For instance, this was my hot rod when I was little. That was my hot rod. That was the fit. That was my hot rod that I had, and it was my favorite transformer I owned. I wanted to get another one because I had a few bucks in my pocket. I wanted to go get another one. I found one on eBay for ten bucks. I got it, and this figure plane sucks. What was my child think? What was my child brain thinking? This figure sucks. All right, it does. It sucks. For the time, it was probably amazing. But today, my god, does it suck. And it took about, I think, $15 away from my pocket. Just because you had it when you were younger doesn't mean it's still good. Next one I'm going to be in is a bit more is a positive one. Just because it doesn't exist doesn't mean you can't do it yourself. No company owns the right to make has-been hotel figures at all. And you guys know me. My collection is very has-been hotel based. What being, I have made action figures for the line. And they're freaking solid. You could ask my buddy Charles. He experienced the Alistair firsthand and he was blown away. That's, mis that's a mistake you can make. Just because it doesn't exist doesn't mean you can't do it yourself. That's that. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a mistake you can make. Another one. Don't ever, ever give away a figure in a trade that you know is popular, but is cheap around that time because it's newer. Don't ever do that. Because you do that... Three months later, you're going to see that figure go up in price. And that happened with 86 Hot Rod. Like, two years ago, I traded my friend, uh, my studio series, Dino. And I have a problem with trading away figures that my parents got me. And Dino was one of the gifts that I got for my birthday that year. And I felt bad. I wanted to get my Dino back. And that was clearly a horrible mistake. I should have let him keep it. Because, in order to get it back... <coughs> Excuse me. In order to get it back, I had to give him my 86 hot rod. And I took that bullet. I gave him my hot rod. Three months later, I'm looking for him to get another. And I'm seeing the guy go for 70 to 90 to 100 bucks. And I'm like, mm, I shouldn't have done that. Well, I got him back. But that's a mistake you can make. Another one? Don't let movie hype blind you. Oh, sorry, I'm locked down. Example for that. Everyone knows the legendary tale when this guy came out. He was exclusive, and he was very freaking hard to find. That is a mistake you can make. 
just because the movie is coming out and you want a figure of it and the mainline one just doesn't satisfy you, you want to get the collector one, the studio series. Don't pay so much because you're blinded by the movie hype. Wait a couple months after the movie hype shows out and people have moved on and the figure is around 30 to 40 bucks and not 80 and that was a mistake I made with my first one of you. This is my second. My first one, I got, I want to say for $85 off of eBay. Because I wanted it when it was very hyped up. And I did that. And that was a mistake I made. Is he a good figure? Yeah. Is he kind of mediocre? Yes. Oof. Another... Mistake. Feeding the scalpers. Don't do this. Do not feed the scalpers. Just because someone has the figure you want for overpriced, do not pay it. Don't feed scalpers. Worst mistake you can make. Yeah. But... Another one you can make is what I like to call the favorite character syndrome. When your favorite character has a figure that is pretty hard to find, but not the best thing ever and quite expensive. That being Studio Series Lockdown. Lockdown is my favorite Transformer in the live action movies. And I didn't know Peru Kill existed when um, I got this guy for the first time. I got him, and I still have my original copy. I'll be right back. There we go. Had to clean some dust off him. This is my original Studio Series Lockdown. Now, granted, this is the Japanese release. This is the Takara Tomy one. And there's barely any difference, just a slight different hue in the silver. But this figure absolutely disappointed me with how much money it took to get it. I did not buy it. It was a birthday present from my grandfather. And not even, I want to say, two months, clear plastic hinges start snapping. First came a little tab up here, then came the other, and then came the worst one, and that was the windshield tab. That where the front end bumper goes and folds into the back. That clear plastic hinge snapped. And I was like, okay, I'll just leave this one alone. I leave it alone for a little bit. Maybe like a month later, I pick it off the shelf and I'm like, oh, maybe I'm messing with this guy for just a little bit. Ah, his arm snaps clean off the hinge. I think it's this one. Yeah, this arm right here snapped because it is clear plastic. So, yeah. It's not... It's not a good figure. Now, granted, this is my new one. I got this one at TFCon. I'm keeping my original in its car mode. That way I can play with the car mode and not have to worry about the breakage of this guy. So, yeah, let me go put this thing back. This next mistake hurts like a motherfucker. When you see a new version of a figure coming out and you think the one you have is superior and you ignore the release and you see how much better it is, Oh no, too late. The figure's going for $200 to $300 on eBay. And that was a mistake I made with Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus. I did not get 86 Ultra Magnus because I thought this thing was superior. Boy, was I wrong. And I... I... Mmm... I will be biting that bullet on Friday. Yeah, you heard me. Next Friday, I will be biting the bullet and buying an 86 Ultra Magnus. Don't ask me how much I'm going to be spending. But, yes. That was a mistake. I made sure I didn't make with 86 Optimus Prime. Because I knew right away, if I ignore this release, since it's an Optimus Prime, not an Ultra Magnus, this thing's gonna jump like probably 600, just like 44 did. I jumped on it as soon as I saw it at TFCon. I, I didn't care what the price was, I bought it. 
110 bucks, didn't care. I'm glad I didn't make the mistake again. Those are some serious mistakes you can make as a collector. And hopefully this can help you.